Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do this. And what is this? We're adding scan lines or raster lines to our video. And I wanted to do it a little bit fancier than just a real quick one. So I did it from the stock to black and white to kind of a darker black and white. And if you're interested in that, stay on this tutorial and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, folks, let's go ahead and recreate this. Okay, we'll grab this one clip here. That's the one I'm interested in. And um, first thing you're gonna do to do the easy version, you're just gonna go up to these three kind of overlapping circles here. Go to your clip filter, scroll down to the raster one right here. And now your video is rasterized. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Now what I wanna do is actually make it look a little bit better. So let me put some breaks in it by right clicking, splitting clip or command B. I'll do command B on this one down here. So now I have three pieces. So again, we have this original here. We rasterized the rest of it, but I chopped up into three pieces. So this one clip here in the middle, we're gonna mess around with the color correction and kind of see if we can make it look different than this original one. So we'll make sure we're highlighted here by clicking on it. Go to this wheel and I'm gonna go ahead and start dragging to make it look different and get that kind of look that I'm looking for. So remember, this is still a greenish hue and we can make it darker or, or just mess around with all these different settings up here. And one thing I want to point out is just hover your mouse over each of the dots and it kind of explains what it's doing. And this middle one here is a saturation. So if you need it more saturated or, or flatter, black and whitish looking, you can do that there. But I think for this one, I want it a little bit more saturated. And over here, you can do colder, which is a bluer, and warmer if you go to the right, which is kind of the, well, the more orange kind of color. So let's see what we kind of want to do. I think right about there. So I'm pretty happy with the difference here. So if I go back to the original, that is our clip with only the rasterized filter on it. And then on the middle one here, we actually messed around with the color a bit in this color correction tool and got it kind of a darker, so back and forth, yeah, lighter, darker. To me, it looks way better. We're already making big improvements here. Okay. And on this last one, let's go ahead and mess around. See if we can make it completely black and white. Kind of that black and white look that I had in, in, in there. And let's see if do I want it cold. Yeah, I want it cold. So it's kind of got that old black and white look. You know, like a security camera or one of them old old uh, SD camcorders. But I definitely like the look of it here. So let's go ahead and, and scroll from the left to the right. So original, only rasterized using the filter that I showed you, which is up here on the three dots. And you just kind of scroll down to right there. Let me cancel that one. So original, rasterized with no changes in color. This one here, we mess around with our color correction tool here and we kept it color but we kind of just worked on the look and feel of it and the last one here we're still working with our color correction tool but now we're making it black and white and just look really freaking cool in my humble opinion okay well that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching don't forget thumbs up subscribe comment all that jazz we'll talk to you next one peace and aloha